how to modify the colour of an image in Affinity Photo using Apply Image. Select a layer in Affinity Photo, go to Filters, down to Apply Image. Go to this option, Use Current Layer as Source. Once you've done that, you'll notice you've got Equations. Equations becomes available. So click here, and then you can go down here. DR, that's the result. Current source is SR. That's for the red channel. You've also got green channel and blue channel. If you want to modify, say, the red channel, just go to the DR field and put SR plus 0.1. And you can see what happens. The image gets slightly redder. You can put plus 0.5. You can put 0.5. 0.6, just a very subtle, slight change, a slight reddening of the image. You can also reduce the red. You can go to SR minus 0.2. It's a slightly less red, and you can see the image becomes a bit bluer, a bit more green. You can also go SR times 2, so you can multiply it, so you can make it a lot redder or three, or five. You can also divide. You can go SR, divide by four. So again, you make it slightly bluer, slightly greener. You can also do the same in the other color channels. You can go here, the green, and put times 0.2 to make it less green. You can see the color there. You can also go times five. Point 0.1. You can go for decimalization if you wish. And you can just change it maybe 5.3 just to slightly increase the green. You can also go to the blue channel and say plus 0.6 to make it slightly bluer or 0.1. Or if you want very subtle, just 0.02. That just slightly increases the blue. And of course you can use the red as well, minus 0.04, just slightly reduce the red. If you've got slightly red image, just slightly reduce it. You can also modify the red channel, but also with blend modes. So SR times two, make it slightly redder. Go here to the blend modes and go through darken, multiply. Now the response is slightly slow, but it does eventually get there and color burn. And of course, lighten, difference, etc. You can also use the other color channels as well. So SR times two, and you've got SB divided by three, and color burn. Create a beautiful burnt sienna orange effect very quickly with an image. Unfortunately, there's no presets. You can't save it. The only way to save it would be to save it to a macro, record it, and then save it to your library so you can apply it at any point. But there's no presets with this. Click apply. Once you've applied it, you can still go up here and filters and repeat apply image. And you can see the result. Sometimes not great, but you can always try it. You can also go to layer and you can fade apply image. So if you get a very intense color effect like this, you can always go here fade apply image and you can reduce it. So now just change it, just tweak it just slightly, maybe put it to there. Also, you've still got blend modes. So you can run through blend modes, try out other ones, some color dodge, click apply. If you restart the apply image, you've always got to click here, use current layer as source. Needs to know that the layer is a source. Then you'll see equations. So if you can't access equations, likely reason you haven't clicked this. So equations, put that on. You've also got other color spaces as well. So you don't have to use just RGB. You can always go here and say grayscale. So you've got grayscale there and you can do exactly the same. Maybe you want a slightly darker or lighter. Just go SI plus 0.2 and you can see it makes it slightly lighter or 0.01 or maybe minus 0.6 
And the thing is, it's between zero and one. So if you go over here and you can still, you can just put 0 0.2, obviously at this point, it just becomes completely gray. But you can always put a solid constant value. So SI and then times three, and you can really brighten the image up. Or SI divided by three to make a lot darker image. Again, you've always got apply at this point or go through the blend modes, try out the blend modes. So go there, darken, color burn, lighten, vivid light, hard light, soft light. Just try them out, find out which color works for you. You may be using an RGB document, but you don't have to use that for the equations color space. You can go here, CMYK. Now this works slightly odd. If I put SC times four or five, doesn't really make much difference. I can put 10, hardly any difference at all. And yet you can put SC plus 0.6 and you can see the result there. Slightly bluer, greener image. Or SC minus 0.2 or four. You can also go to magenta and go plus 0.3 and you can create a variety of different color effects just by changing CMYK. You still got blend modes, so you can run through this, multiply, color burn, add, overlay, soft light, hard light, and so on, and click apply. But you can also go to a lab. There's also the option for lab, lightness and A and B. So in there, you've got there, SL. So plus 0.6. You can see the result there, obviously a lot lighter. Or minus 0.3, a lot darker. And you've also got SA, so plus 0.3. You can see the result there. Or SB plus 0.4. You can create a variety of different color effects just using lab. Definitely should not be ignored. You've got exactly the same here, blend modes. You've got add, lighten, multiply, color burn, and so on. And also opacity, you can always change that. Don't have to keep the opacity at 100% and click apply. And you've still got filters and repeat apply image if you wish. Yes, not always of course the response that you might think. Layer, also fade apply image as well. So you can go through these again. Here you can set the fade. Go there to 100%, zero, run through them. And also use blend modes. So again, lighter, color dodge, linear light, and apply. You can also combine. So you've got SR there, so DR equals SR. You can always put plus SG. So you can bring in the green channel as well. Combine the red and the green channel. Maybe go to the green channel and maybe say minus SB. You can also use the result of the red. So you put there SG minus DR. Creates even more colorful effects. Also along with blend mode as well. You might not want to use that. You might want SG times, but you want just a little bit of the green channel. Not much, but a little bit. So SG times 0.2. And you put SG back down to there. Maybe go to three or four or six, seven, eight. And you can see the result there as you change that. You've still got blend modes as well. Darken, multiply. So you can go there and put that to 0.9, 1.5, and so on. To create all kinds of very colorful designs using this approach. You can also set it to an average. Go here. DR equals SR plus SG plus SB, and then divide by three for the three color channels. So just put that, or divide by five, or divide by two. You don't have to divide by three. You can also go SG times 0.8. So you can just add a subtle bit of a change to the green channel. You can also just put these in all of them. So with that, DG equals, just copy and paste. 
Just go there, copy and paste, and you've got a grayscale image. But you've got a grayscale image that you can manipulate. You've got SB, and you can say, well, I don't want all of the SB there. I want 0.8 or 1.2. So you can just darken it, maybe make it slightly bluer. The result of the blue is increased a bit. You can go to this one and say, instead of 0.8, go for 0.9. And it's very subtle changes. Maybe use 0.4. You can see the result there. Slightly yellow, more yellow effect there. 0.9, 2.2. So of course it brings the color back in again, but it's still got that grayscale sort of monochrome sort of color that you can create some really interesting designs with. As we before, you can still use blend modes. You can run through them, try them out. You might find overlay or soft light, hard light, vivid light gives even more amazing color designs than any of the other blend modes. And click apply. You can do the same in CMYK. Go to the DC channel, make that SC plus SM plus SY plus SK and then divide the whole lot by four. You can then copy and paste it into all of the other channels. But you don't have to keep them as divided by four. You can put divide by two or divide by six. You can also go here and divide by eight and you can see the result by just changing the division, divide by two to create a variety of different results. But as before, you can go here to SM to say 0.6. So just bring in a little bit of magenta, maybe a little less, or maybe go for 1.2 times that. And maybe go to the yellow and go 1.2 times. And you can create a variety of different color designs just by using that. Go to the DK. You don't have to use this. You could just go with the SK. So you just got the black and you can see the result there. You've also got blend modes. Still use those, go through there, darken, color burn, lighten, color dodge, overlay, soft light, just try them out. Screen and click apply. And you've still got filter and repeat apply image. Brightens it up a bit. Or go to layer and fade apply image. And you can see you can bring in the original colors, but you can fade them. So you just fade them just slightly, maybe make it just about there so you've got some color, very subtle color. You can also use blend modes. So run through, darken, color burn, lighter color, soft light, and tweak these. So you can just go backwards and forwards with the fade, maybe go there and click apply. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. Thank you much.